The man gave the fat man a shot of painkillers, then cut open his stomach and shoved seven stones at hard. The next day, the fat man's body was dumped in a stinky ditch in the suburbs. After a forensic examination, it was found that the real cause of the fat man's death was that he was killed by the seven stones in his stomach after the painkiller had worn off. The police also found a message written on a tree at the crime scene. The officers in charge of the case suddenly remembered that the murderer had actually turned himself in at the police station a few days ago. At that time, the man took the initiative to explain that he had killed someone, but also reported the fat man's home address contact information. But when the police came to the door to investigate but found that the fat man was still alive and well, so they let the man go as a mental illness. Unexpectedly, a few days later the fat man was really killed, and this is just the beginning. A week later, the man kidnapped another teenage girl, stripped naked and sent her into the oven, baked the girl into a dry corpse, and then threw her into a crowded shopping mall. 